Welcome to the Cracker Box Palace. Time for another update. This week, it's an add-on to the outside of the Cracker Box Palace. What I'm going to be doing here is adding a table, mounting it to the outside of the Cracker Box Palace. It's going to be half the size of one of these six foot long folding tables. What I'm doing here is removing it, the table tops from the frame itself. After I do that, I'll be separating the frame in the middle. The screws came out real good out of the table tops, but what I had to do at the folding portion of the table where, where the frame folds, needed uh, to drill the rivets out there. It's uh, riveted together. Easily done though, you just take a drill bit, drill one end of the rivet out, and the other end just slides out. And there's one there. That's one, had to take one out of the other side. After I do that, essentially I've got two halves of the table support. Now, the rest of the video <laughs> got deleted of me putting it together, but here's the end product. What I actually did was uh, took the two tabletop supports on the half of the table, cut those short like this, mounted that with offsets or standoffs to the trailer itself. It folds right there at the old folding point. What I've got right there is a bungee cord. Now the bungee cord's not really necessary to hold it in place because there is a latch at the point where the table folds to keep it in place, but it does rattle. Now I did put uh, two bumpers on the trailer there just to keep the table from rattling against the trailer while I'm riding down the road. Now you see it locks into place like that, but it's still a little loose there up top. What I did was added a couple of D-rings so I could throw a bungee cord across there just to keep it tight against the bumper. No more rut. Thanks for watching. Make sure if you like this, Give me that thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, leave me any suggestions or comments. Let me know. Let me know. I'll answer back. And uh, have a good day.